they're such an important part of uh, most professions, especially teaching with attacks against teachers all over the country. Uh, it's really important that we show that we stand together in solidarity. My first Labor Day parades in Pittsburgh, I was a coal miner, a member of the United Mine Workers, and we were on strike in the 1980s. Today, it's school teachers, bus drivers, other public sector workers who are under that kind of attack. And to be with our sisters and brothers in unions of all kinds, it, there's just nothing like it. And for our children to be able to see this solidarity, what an example this is for everyone. Now, we are wearing these pink lace to recognize our brothers and sisters who were furloughed and show them that we love them and support them and we're going to fight for them. Over uh, 260, I guess, school educators were furloughed, laid off. It causes a disconnect with the community. When the parents come to the school, the children come back to school, they're looking for these same familiar faces, people that helped and assisted them in the past and they're no longer there. With the labor movement goes the middle class. Our members in Pittsburgh have been taking it on the chin, but they're in schools every single day trying to make things work, even with all of these budget cuts. There's a lot of really great schools, and there's a lot of great teachers doing everything they can each and every day to make sure that the kids are actually learning to do their best. We are down to bare bones. We are at maximum capacity in our classrooms. In my two, both sixth grade classrooms, I have 34 students. Uh, we have limited supplies. I, I bought all my supplies this school year for my students. We're marching behind a banner that says save our schools. We really mean it. And it's the foundation of democracy and it's under incredible attack in the state of Pennsylvania. We have to come up with solutions to these issues so we can move forward. And who to better ask than those of us who are in the trenches, who are with our children day in, day out. We need to look at these children that they're not just scores on a standardized test and the people that know that best are the people that are in the classroom. People that look at our children and see them as, as the whole child. And somewhere we lost that. Somewhere along the line we lost that. And unions and teachers, we, we know that. We're the front lines. And when they try to break us up and they try to dismantle unions, you'll see, uh, you'll see some very sad things happen. One thing I love about Randy, she always challenges us to do better, to think bigger, to think beyond ourselves, and to think ahead. When I saw her this morning, one of the very first things she said to me was, how are the members doing? That's huge. What the labor movement does is creates the power, the ability to influence so that our kids can go to a good neighborhood school close to where they live. The choice in my election is basically the same choice in all the other elections. The choice has never been clearer. The contrast has never been sharper. So we're going to work like we've never worked before for the next 65 or whatever number of days it is. And we're going to win. And when we win, the middle class wins, our kids win, older citizens win, and I think the future of America wins. God bless you and thank you. I think people will realize that unions are standing behind Obama and Biden for the 2012 election to show that we're not going to tolerate uh, union attacks and we're going to stand 100% behind somebody who supports us, our unions, uh, that knows that unions are the foundation of America. It's so important that my son knows so that when he gets a job and he needs a union support that he'll he'll understand and he'll know about it and it's just it's just an important part of making America work. Yeah.